Hey, what's good? So I decided to finally film this video right before I'm about to leave and I need to pack, but you know, whatever, it's fine. I figured I'd film a video first, even though I'm about to go home. Just a bit of a preface, I'm going to be showing you guys the work that I did during winter session. It's all in this very loud, like, bag. But winter session, if you weren't aware, is basically a thing at RISD where it's in between semesters and we get a chance to take a different class that we haven't done before and try to explore and do cool stuff. I decided to take a comic class. I've done a bit of comics before in the past, uh, but not like professionally or very well. So I figured, hey man, we should learn some of this at some point. So I decided to take a class on it. So that's how I decided to like end up picking this class. There was a lot of learning. I still don't think the stuff I did was really good and I still think I have a lot to improve on and I know that the storytelling is just not that good because I'm not that good of a writer, but I'm working on it. So we will see where that goes. This isn't gonna be like my career, but I am going into illustration. So I guess it's kind of related in a way. Cool. If anyone is doing comics, I hope you kind of enjoy this because very small audience, I feel like. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the stuff that I made. So let's just get into what I created this entire month. It was it was about a month. I'm gonna just open this really loud bag with like everything inside of it. Oh no, something fell. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, it's on the ground. I have to go pick it up. Okay, so. First thing I wanted to say is that I'm not going to be reading all these comics to you just because I think that's not what I want this video to be about and also it would just take way too long so I'm just going to show you basically what it looks like but if you do want to read it all the comics are posted on my Instagram linked right here and you feel free to check it out uh, you may have to do a little bit of digging but you'll find it it's there trust me I'm gonna do this chronologically so hopefully you see some kind of improvement. These were mostly done digitally, which I actually am not familiar with at all, but I learned a lot through just working with it so much. Yeah, there's a lot of that. So the first ever assignment I did in this class was an instructional comic where we weren't allowed to use words. So anything on a keyboard, you're not allowed to use. So no punctuation, stuff like that. So I did mine off of how to make a little pom-pom chick. We were supposed to pick something that only we knew how to do, I'm not one with many talents other than art, so I decided to do it on how to make a little pom-pom chick, and we actually made pom-pom chicks in class, and it was really cute. Two people actually ended up doing my comic, even though most people only had one person do it, I just like to say. But anyways, this was basically what I ended up having. Yeah, this is inked by hand. This was one of the very few pieces I did by hand just because I wanted to learn digital media. I took a shot at that. As you can see, you need yarn, some felt, scissors, glue, markers and you just measure it out you need a fork that i forgot to include because mistakes were made you tie a knot and cut it and ta-da you have a pom-pom chick wow there it is and i actually have made these pom-pom chicks i made a ton of them over winter break so that's why i chose to do this and then my next project ended up being a tortoise in the hair comic which is pretty infamous if you've taken a comics class. Basically you have to show motivations through characters and stuff like that and you're not allowed to use words. So this was really difficult. Even though I do art for communication purposes a lot, this is hard when it comes to comics because you have like these rigid characters that have their own personalities that you have to show through body language. The assignment was also under the time restraint of about four days. So that's how much time I had to do this. And also I was not able to fully finish this. So it is in the sketch phase. So it is not that finished of a work, which I'm well aware of. I ended up doing something like this and there are over 10 pages. I believe it's 16 pages in the end. But yeah, this is basically what it ended up looking like. Um, my idea was that the tortoise and the hare were racing through a mall and the rabbit was like very intrigued by one of those like stores where they have like the beds on sale and so she climbs in one of those, falls asleep, the turtle wins, the rabbit's like oh no and then they kind of get mad at each other for a really small amount of time but of course there's a happy ending and they make up so yeah, that's basically what this ended up looking like. I wanted to print it on like an off-white paper. After this assignment that took me, you know, 
a heck of a long time to do. I had, I did an assignment where we could finally use words so I could finally do something. And this was about the use of language. So how you can change like the font or like the, the look of like the art of the letters by like emphasizing certain things that make it look like the sound it's supposed to. Like if you're yelling, it'd be in all caps. And if you're like being sassy, it'd be in like italic, stuff like that. So we had to do a comic with a title incorporated as well, which is something I never got to do. So I'm actually very excited that that was like a thing we got to learn how to do. And it was basically an assignment where we had to depict an argument. And so I chose to do a comic called Hiccups. So the story is about this little ghost who's stuck in a cafe owned by this little girl and they kind of have a tiff. And basically this ghost is stuck here because you know, that's where he has to haunt. And, ah, and then as it goes on, he makes a mess and the girl has to clean it up and he tries to help, but you know, he can't really help. This is a really cute scene where he's like crying and thinking of a bowl. He wants to help, not very good at helping because he's a clumsy ghost and then knocks more stuff over. She gets mad at him, there's arguments, and then he threatens to never come back, and she gets really sad and just talks about how much she likes him. It's a really cute story, I think. It was probably one of my favorite pieces that I did in the class, and the title is called Hiccups because the ghost it'll it'll be explained in my comic if you want to go read it go check out my account but it's called hiccups so i designed the the title into the, into the thing and then after that i did another piece by hand and this was a piece where we had to it's kind of hard to explain but basically you assign each panel on a area of a page to have a certain meaning and you repeat that meaning through all three pages. We had maximums and minimums on most of these, or I would have made them longer or shorter. So this one was basically one where we had to ha have certain meanings depending on where the panel was on the page, and we had to have the same page layout on every single page. It's kind of complicated, kind of strange to explain, but my comic was called Can I Play Too? And this is it! No, I'm kidding, obviously. This is the cover splash page that I did, and it's called Can I Play Too? It's about my cousin and I when we were kids, and this is a true story. So it seems a little sad. It wasn't that sad. It seems really sad now that you like look back on it, but no. I did do this by hand. It was done all in one day. He assigned it to us like on Thursday and then it was due on Friday. So I didn't have that much time to work on it, obviously. Here's my cousin. So my cousin lived with me when I was about four. I think about like when I was born to when I was four is when he lived with us and he was nine years older than me. So you can imagine the relationship that we had was very me always wanting to play with him and him not always wanting to play with me because he had his friends and he went to school and stuff. Here he is with his friends and they're hanging out and they come home. There's me, so small. And he's talking to his friends and they go upstairs. I want to come with them. And he's like, no, you can't come in. And he slams the door. And then I really want to go in and I'm just begging to go in. And then his friends are like, yo, she's kind of annoying. And he's like, nah, man, she's cool. And then I'm waiting outside the door and he feels bad. So he slips a card that they're playing. They're playing like Yu-Gi-Oh. Actually, everyone in my class caught that it was Yu-Gi-Oh, which I'm really glad because I never actually came out in the comic and said that it was Yu-Gi-Oh. But it is like the card placement of a Yu-Gi-Oh game and the last page does have a picture of the card backing, which kind of vaguely looks like Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm really glad that people caught it, because although it's not important to the story, which is why I didn't mention it, it is close to my heart because it was Yu-Gi-Oh! that I really wanted to play. Slips a card through the door, and I'm like, oh my god! And then the ending is the same format as this cover page, so I have a little one, and it's just me having a tea party with all my stuffed animals and the card. A very cute story. Like I said, if you want to read the dialogue, all on my page. I just don't want to like have to go in and read every single one because I'm not about to like explain that 16 page one. That's the next assignment I had and then after that was just our final and my final I am not incredibly proud of which really sucks. I do think it's probably one of the best that I've done this semester but I still wish 
that I had more time to work on it. I do think it could have been better. So this is what my final ended up looking like. Here's the first page. I definitely ran out of time. This was done in about a week, kind of close to a week and a half, but still a week. But I just don't think it ended up being that good. It wasn't how I imagined it. Everyone in my class always says my art is really cute, which I'm glad because that's kind of what I'm going for. Apparently, my professor said there's like three different art styles thrown around. I thought it was just one, which was mine, but apparently it's three. So if you see some inconsistencies, that would be why. But here it is, basically mad scientist working on bugs accidentally spill something entire place explodes and then we go to a girl named aurora and it ex explained that she's always late doesn't pay attention in class very well not a good thing guys stay in school and then there's mass chaos outside and she feels it and she's like oh my god there's danger and she's like can i be excused and then she leaves transforms into this magic girl-esque this is under the genre of like a magic girl comic so yeah there she is i've never done anything like this i never do anything with magic i usually do like nuance kind of crazy like you know the other one had a ghost but that one's more like in my comfort zone of like kind of crazy stuff but for the most part just kind of nuanced slice of life kind of thing so this was very different for me so yeah she transforms into this girl and is like wow oh my god she's so cool goes on to have this whole thing where there's more chaos outside the bugs are revealed to have grown a lot from the potion and they're destroying the city so this is probably one of my favorite pages just because i love how the colors turned out yeah she has to figure out how to save the world and so she decides to take a giant poster off of one of those buildings lay it on the ground it is sticky, they step on it, they get stuck. So it's like a giant sticky trap and there they are. That was my final. And with that, my final thoughts on the class. I really enjoyed this class. It was probably one of the like best classes I've taken so far at RISD. I have, however, only taken about four or five classes total. So I don't know how much that counts for, but I did have such a fun time during this session. I'm really sad that it's over, but I am really excited to go home, so. There's that. I'm glad that you guys ended up staying to the end of my video. I hope you did enjoy it. This is honestly so much work that I've done, but I am quite proud of almost all of it. With that being said, I don't ooh, quite, oh God. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff now that I've finished. Like I said, if you want to see any of these comics up close, they are all posted on my Instagram, linked here. Snapchat's linked here and yeah i don't have quite much else to say other than thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for 10k i know we hit 10k a long time ago but haven't been able to say thank you and i am planning something for 20k so if we can get there soon that'd be fantastic i will see you guys later so stay hydrated take a nap i will see you guys when i see you guys bye